This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, inflation fears spooked the market as the CPI and the PPI came in hotter than expected. The S&P 500 dropped about 1% and the Dow was down nearly 2%. As if all the bad inflation news wasn't enough, a Wall Street Journal report Friday indicated that Iran planned to attack Israel over the weekend, adding to the instability. Energy prices, which had been a major factor in the past two months' inflation readings, pushed higher on fears of further geopolitical turmoil. Prior to this week, investors saw an accommodative Fed, poised to cut interest rates early and often, with some predicting six or seven rate cuts starting as early as March. The futures markets, as of Friday, is now only anticipating two cuts. Our view is that the Fed may not lower rates at all, since the economy and the labor market look to remain strong. Earnings are growing, and companies are in a good position with a lot of runway, after two years of cutbacks in anticipation of the no-show recession that never arrived. Interest rates are actually back to normal, and most fail to realize that this bull market that started in October of 2022 has risen almost 10,000 points while the Fed was raising rates, not cutting. A bright spot for the Fed is that the economy has been able to tolerate these higher rates with little impact on employment or growth at the macro level. None of this, of course, precludes further volatility. As Ben Graham, Warren Buffett's mentor, taught, markets may weigh fundamentals in the long run, but in the short term, they act like voting machines, swinging on investor sentiment. Investors are emotional and have strong feelings about inflation, interest rates, and especially geopolitical risks and those feelings may impact the markets a while longer. But like all uncertainty, it may be a big deal for headlines, but for the markets, we doubt it's anything more than typical volatility that starts and ends without warning. I believe that diversification is the best and may be the only protection against uncertainty and the key to future returns. Shunning diversification has never been prudent. Periods of short-term volatility are a good time to play the game, are you diversified with your portfolio, and to make sure that you don't miss out on what we believe is a a once-in-a-generation opportunity. 